Hello everyone, welcome on my channel ASP.NET Core and uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to start uh, ASP.NET Core with Angular. So just create a new project and uh, in a new project you can select ASP.NET Core Web Applications and uh, language is C Sharp and just click on the next button and you can say a demo uh, Angular ASP.NET Core okay so that is the project name you can assign it and uh, you can see here we have a new template uh, given by Microsoft Visual Studio that is angular react.js react.js and Redux so just to start with the angular and and after that we will consider it on uh, react uh, as well as react.js dot Redux okay so just to start angular and click create button so microsoft visual studio creating projects with the client app that is angular so you can see controller is as usual client app is a new folder uh, in mvc project uh, okay so in the client app you have you can see there is a lots of files and one uh, one by one we will consider it on in a later video session so that is the source files okay so there is file okay and uh, you can see here is the controller where uh, that the default uh, weather forecast controller is assigned you can see okay so there is okay so that is the uh, first uh, startup.cs file is as usual you can see in the mvc project in asp.net core there is two uh, services that is configure service as usual configure method there is your middleware and the pipelinings assign okay so and use angular client server is npm scripts that is the node.js you can see okay so as usual www root folder is looking li uh, like in uh, asp.net core web projects dependency is there and app settings.json file is also there you can see and the one more uh, one more uh, thing is that that is the pages you can see that error.cshtml is there and view import.cshtml is there view import is as usual in the views page you can see and in the client app that is the client pages i mean to say that html pages and assigned it here okay so here we have a index page that is the default page which is uh, in loading in demo angular asp.net for that is the default page okay and and inside the source uh, subfolder is app and here we have a counter applications fetch data home nav menu etc is there so you can see in the home tab so, so home component is there home dot uh, dot component dot html file similarly fast data is here fast data fast uh, data dot component dot CS HTML. there is the for uh, weather forecast api is applied so you can just apply uh, just play your uh, project asp.net core angular project npm this is may take several times you can see in the restoring dependencies so npm is a start and build the projects and after that your project will run restoring dependency using npm that is from package manager so let's wait to some times uh, to run your project on your web browser
and one by one each file will be considered in later videos in ESP.NET Core. So just wait for some time and I will run your project and uh, I will start a new project in uh, using Angular. Okay, so there is a simple thing you can do in Angular with the ASP.NET Core. Yeah, demo Angular ASP.NET Core application is run is starting. Okay, there is the hello world application, ASP.NET Core, C Sharp, there is the, and there is the nav menu, and fetch data counter and home. Similarly, you can see in your uh, nav menu, you can see nav menu dot component dot css uh, dot html file, and uh, that file is actually built in html. Uh, there is the class, there is the bootstrap class button home counter and the fetch data as usual is there and how to apply the hyperlink looking like that router link router link so that is the output when we click on the fetch data your weather forecast api is there counter application is there okay so that is the getting started of uh, angular uh, application in esp.net core that is the beginning point and just wait for the next video and i will uh, do more in angular so thank you very much for watching this video and keep watching all others